SG is a vision. It was a vision that we were looking for opportunities to implement. So we had it all laid out in our mind. But then when the World Bank call came in, so we just laid down that vision. A novel technology like genomics was out there and the world was taking full advantage of it and Africa was nowhere near you know to to, to embrace that technology simply because there was no resources human resources there was no infrastructure before now Africa had always been reactive you know all the outbreak happens and everybody starts running government starts setting you know uh, criteria as, oh, let's mobilize and do, you know, sentinel surveillance and all of that. But then we, I mean, at ASCID, we told ourselves, what if we're a bit more proactive, you know, in the sense that we go to hotspots of likely disease spread, of likely, you know, spill over, and then do a robust surveillance. That's where the batch project came in. The very first thing that we did during Ebola outbreak was to demonstrate the usefulness of genomic sequencing when it comes to understanding the nature of a virus like Ebola. But then using that understanding of the genome of Ebola to create in little or no time the first rapid diagnostic test that was approved by the US FDA and WHO under emergency use authorization. This within four months of an epidemic. That was revolutionary. Because what used to happen is that when there's an outbreak, people will collect samples and take them to Europe and then study the sample for years and eventually create, you know, the solutions. Years after that outbreak was on, but we were doing this in real time. I heard about this from my friend. Uh, he has been following SG since the time they did the sequencing of Ebola. So when they announced the fellowship, he recommended me to apply for the SG fellowship, which I did. And my experience has been, it has been an in fact, impactful and valuable journey. Because coming to SG before, even though I've been in internship in my uh, labs in my country, but I've not been able to do some of the molecular techniques alone, starting from the scratch to the run. But being in SZ, I'm now able to do them alone and I'm really grateful for the opportunity. As being an international student in SZ, uh, first of all, I got support, financial support for my academic study. Yes. Uh, I also have the opportunity to be with a lot of culture, many culture like from Africa, Nigerian, Tanzania, Kenya, Botswana. What defines this is the fact that each of these proteins usually have what we call the sorting signals. The courses that we offer at SG um, are um, about three major courses. So we have microbiology, and then we also have molecular biology and genomics. And then now during ACE Impact, we have um, bioinformatics. So those are the three main courses that we offer at both master's and uh, PhD level. I'm very interested in studying malaria parasites, and I'm working on a project which is trying to capture different aspects of plasmodium genomics. Plasmodium parasites are the causative pathogen of malaria. And we are trying to understand what is the genetic diversity of plasmodium parasites in Nigeria. And we want to understand which drug resistant mutations are present to understand which drugs can still be used for the treatment of malaria here in Nigeria. The whole concept of genomic 
has really transformed the way we do science and then medicine. And that also brought a lot of benefit in terms of health and also in terms of economics. But then, as usual, Africa could not, you know, tap into those resources because we didn't have the know-how and we didn't have the infrastructure. And we decided that, you know, with the skills and the know-how that we had, we wanted to really change the narrative. We wanted to bring Africa to the table and leverage the skills of genomics to equalize or to reduce the, the, the global gap, you know, in terms of medical research between Africa and the rest of the world. We started enjoying the benefits of SGIT as Center of Excellence uh, since far back as 2014. Uh, through the equipment that uh, SGIT made available for researchers here, our researchers were able to detect uh, the first case, in this case of uh, Ebola in 2014. And that actually brought the university into limelight because it was a major breakthrough that helped Nigeria. And uh, it actually facilitated early containment of the disease. Doing science on the African continent is a completely different story than doing science in other parts of the world. Um, but ASGID is doing a wonderful job in trying to overcome all the challenges that the African continent brings. The benefits of being in SG is a full scholarship whereby they are covering my tuition fee and they are giving me, giving me a stipend to cover for my monthly food like accommodation, which is a very good thing for me because I'm not stressed about the tuition fee and also I have stipend which I can use to cover. I had my master's program here at SGIT and I think the motivating factor for me was the fact that I got blown away by the fact that you could get like the exact type of experience, I mean in terms of cutting edge technology that you'd get elsewhere. I was planning to leave, that was the plan. So I had a discussion with one of my mentors and then she told me you can actually do the same research you're just talking about you want to do molecular biology you can do it here you know i was i was not expecting that and we really thought of setting up a platform where we could bring people right and really let them embrace this technology and teach them how to use this technology and do research and advance health in africa in a way that wasn't done before and one way to do that was really to, first of all, build and establish programs, what are called genomic curriculums, that at master's and PhD level. And I want to be confident that actually we got the very first genomic curricula that was, I mean, that were accredited in the whole region. And then, and the goal was to build a critical mass of well-trained African scientists that can leverage the knowledge and the skills of genomics we have benefited a lot in terms of enhancing the ranking of the university through the research publications emanating from SG uh, scientists. Uh, we've been able to have appearance in very high impact factor journals. Uh, virtually all the papers coming out, coming out of the laboratory there are uh, Scopus Index. And this has had very great impact on our ranking as a university. 
if there's anything that uh, the director, Professor Christina P, is about, is that um, our publications must go in a high impact journal because even what we do is also very impactful. So overall, we have um, over 269 publications. I haven't counted what we are trying to submit now because we're actually working on putting uh, publications uh, for this year together. AZIT has had a lot of work in various sites in Nigeria. We are working with um, Ikorodu General Hospital. We are working with um, Iwa Specialist Teaching Hospital. We are working with the Federal Medical Center, OWA, and then Alex Ekwame Federal University Teaching Hospital, Bakaloki. In these places, we are performing groundbreaking research on, on Lassa fever and other uh, viral hemorrhagic fevers. We help them in building capacity for diagnosis, for sequencing, and for detection of some of these diseases even before they became outbreaks. I like the program, and also when I started the class, my lecturer they know like, okay, we have French student here. She doesn't understand English. So whenever I'm asking questions, they are more interested like, okay, are we, can we come closer to hear what you are saying? So they give me this attention that make me free. SDG is focused on Africa and want to solve the problem that African countries are facing. 